Oculus Quest 2 Review Oculus Quest 2 offers small changes that make big differences lightweight, comfortable, and powerful enough to run impressively detailed virtual reality experiences. The Oculus Quest 2 is the best VR headset that Oculus has made so far. The Oculus Quest 2 is one of the best VR systems available for both beginners and seasoned VR veterans alike. In fact, we'd go so far as to say it's a must-have device if you're looking for one of the best VR headsets currently on the market that doesn't require the additional wires, huge expense, or added fuss of a PC-based VR setup, like the HTC Vive VR headset, or now discontinued Oculus Rift S. The Quest 2 allows you to, almost literally, step inside gaming worlds, as well as access 360-degree video content and apps covering all genres. The Oculus Quest 2 VR headset is the second version of the Quest headset range. It's similar to the original Oculus Quest in that it's a battery-powered, standalone headset that allows you to freely roam around your physical and digital play spaces without fear of tripping over a wire. But there are some significant changes, the new model offers a more responsive experience overall, thanks to improved RAM and chip specs. It also has a higher resolution display, which is a whole 50% sharper than its predecessor. What's more, where the Quest 2 is concerned developers now have the option to make their games run at 90Hz, this is important for increased comfort and even more realism while playing, and the headset itself is noticeably lighter than before, with double the battery life in the controllers. There are hundreds of separately sold Oculus Quest games, and some free ones too, available to play with the headset, including everything from shooters to puzzle games, fitness titles to meditation apps, there truly is something for everyone, even if levels of quality, and comfort, can vary depending on what you're watching and playing. The Oculus Quest 2 also offers a social experience. Though some will shudder at the newly introduced Facebook account requirement the Oculus Quest 2 is superb when playing with friends, whether you choose to do that through online avatars, or in the same physical room thanks to the option to Google cast whatever you're viewing within your headset to a nearby display. Augmented Reality Pass-Through Coming to Quest 2 Oculus VR has announced its new pass-through API technology is now available for developers to test in the latest Oculus SDK build. The pass-through tech will essentially act as an overlay to your VR activities, and will be able to provide experiences based in social, productivity and gaming-focused areas. These include sharing a virtual screen to watch a movie or show, or to fight zombies hiding in your living room. Oculus Quest 2 comes in two variants, a model with 64GB of storage, priced at £299-$299, dollars 479 Australian dollars and a 256GB version for £399, dollars 639 Australian dollars. The Oculus Quest 2 is worn on the head, quite a bit like a scuba mask. Where a scuba mask's window would be, you've instead got a padded cavity that houses a pair of goggle-like lenses that sit in front of a screen giving you stereoscopic 3D visuals. Paired with motion sensors and accelerometers in the headset, you can move your head and see the motions reflected in real-time on the digital screen in front of you, as if you were looking out and moving around in the real world. The first Oculus Quest made use of dual 1440 by 1600 resolution OLED displays one for each eye, but the Quest 2 opts for a single LCD panel, split so as to display an 1832 by 1920 pixel resolution per eye. The Quest 2 does all of this while still offering the same 2-3 to three hour battery life as the first Quest, depending on the application you're using. That may not sound like much, but longer play sessions than that are unlikely to be comfortable anyway. Getting a VR headset setup can be a painful affair, there's usually loads of wires to plug in, and external sensors to arrange. But because all the computing and motion tracking is done on the self-contained Oculus Quest 2 headset, getting into the action here take just 5-10 to 10 minutes. The Oculus Quest 2 rings the death knell for Oculus's tethered, PC-only headsets, such as the Oculus Rift and Oculus Rift S. It has confirmed that, going forward, its headsets will offer a combination of mobile and PC-tethered play, rather than being solely PC-tethered hardware. Offering access to both these play scenarios through one headset line is a wise move by Facebook, reducing the amount of hardware it supports. However, as mobile VR now becomes the default for Oculus, not everyone has a gaming PC, after all, we hope that that doesn't dull the ambitions of developers. We wouldn't want to see apps focus solely on the lower-powered mobile headset and give a cold shoulder to the more powerful made-for-PC experiences that can be achieved. New for the Oculus Quest is the introduction of a number of Oculus-licensed accessories beyond the controllers. We'll include a new, structured headband for an optional comfort fit, a headband with a built-in battery to double play time, audio accessories from Logitech and different interface plates for varying sizes. 
What has however started to come through is third-party accessories, like the customizable facial interface and foam replacement set from VR Cover. On sale from VR Cover's online store at $29, about £25, $42 Australian dollars, it includes a replaceable facial interface that includes venting for passively reducing heat from the display to reduce the buildup of humidity, as well as a pair, thick and thin, of leatherette padded foam cushions for the inside of the headset, which is far more comfortable than the default standard the Quest 2 ships with. With a nose guard that also prevents light leaking into the headset, and complete with a carry case and lens cover, the VR cover kit shows there could be a lot of promise in accessories made for making the Oculus Quest 2 VR experience comfortable for all wearers, and comes recommended.